Okay, so the little break is over for Infinity Train. We're about to start season three. This is reaction for episode one, the musical car, and episode two, the jungle car. And my suspicions were correct. I saw in the little thumbnail for the for the season that uh, looks like we'll be following Grace as our new protagonist here on the Infinity Train, which is a very intriguing premise to me because this will be kind of the first character we're meeting that doesn't want to get off the train. So I'm very curious to see how this goes, especially because they have sort of painted Grace in a poor light so far in season two. So we're kind of getting off on the wrong foot with her. So very curious, very excited to start season three. So let's watch. When I look at you, okay. I look at me, I see you. Make some kind of funny effort, I dig the song. Oh, wow. He put nails in that bat. I wonder if this is a song written for the show or not. I've never heard it. I like how Grace has a throne. I really... Number one question for me. Obviously, don't answer this. Why fight so much to leave the train? What was going on in your life outside of there that you're afraid to go back to, you know? It's like Peter Pan and the Lost Boys. Take the song. And we kind of have an idea how long they've been here. It seems they arrived, like Grace and maybe Simon as well. Maybe they arrived. Oh, wow. <laughs> the musical car. Uh, Grace and then probably arrived after 1 1 was ousted as the conductor. So. Ooh, that's beautiful. That was a beautiful shot. Already up 14. Not bad, Simon. <sighs> Not bad. They're training it like a game. Already have socks and sandals. No, no, the playbill. Wow, it's like a game to them. Come on, give me a new nickname. I was 10. My mom thought they were practical. She ever heard of? This is horrible shoes? what they did. Oh. Why no? What are these shoes you speak of? The di the. The disrespect wow, to the inhabitants nice of the train. Guess you win again, knee pads. <gasps> You're just jealous I know how to make practical look good. Especially no, with the inhabitants of the train. Oh no, this is violent. <laughs> Holy crap. Time to go. Time to go. Yeah, because the purpose of the... of the beings on the train are to help the passengers figure their, you know, their stuff out to get off. So, of course, they are rebelling against Barely. against them. Apex, take a bow. Wow, Grace figured that one out. They, they like, just raided that car. Look at the destruction. Look at the harm they caused. Like, and this is our protagonist. Look at you. I see you. Oh, my God. My word. <laughs> what an opening. What you got there? Is this a tribute? Wow, Alex, you're so good at presents. But I'm gonna put only these things in my personal stash of favorites. Aw, oh, she noticed that he was really down about that. Help. Oh my god. No, you're one of them. Oh no. Jesse, hold that no. Oh my god, they like kidnapped the poor guy. Doing? Shh. Wheel it or whatever. Oh my god. Keep the light person? No, no way. Aw, that's cute. Lucy thinks it's a person. Oh, this is messed up. Do you see a person? Mm -mm. All I see I don't know how I feel about toy this. The train made to amuse us. Just something to play with when we're bored. And honestly, Oh my goodness. You're boring me. Yes, Grace. Understood, Grace. I want it. Put it in my room. Sorry, I'm like yes. really taken aback by this. We got a taste oh of this in season two. I'm building a diorama for my soul. This is quite dark. Big light to emulate dawn before the Battle of Esmeralda. <laughs> what they're doing here? Like they're disregarding, like you know, Knowles or the inhabitants of the train not having feelings or thoughts and deserving of life. That that's that's bothersome. 
Let's raid another car. I'm feeling it. Wow, this is gonna be a really fascinating season. This is a this is really intriguing premise. Passengers in the next car. Especially giving us a protagonist this divisive, you know? Oh my god! Oh my god, are we gonna get the phone guy? I'm just making the old Desi Uno for the family. Slow cooked lettuce with a side of turtle juice. Yeah, it's like regular juice, but for Yes! I love that turtle! <laughs> How dare they raid this car though? What's going on? Oh no. Not this car. What's happening, Daddy? Yeah, that's right. Now I'm reassuring my kids <laughs> not to worry and telling them it'll the be okay. Uh -huh. You leave him alone. Oh, now they're breaking into my home and taking my novelty apron and oh. second favorite hat. <laughs> second favorite. Uh, it's not really breaking in when your house has no hmm. walls. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It looks great. In. It's against turtle law, which is like regular law, but for turtles. <laughs> no, 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 Sensei. I was yelling at a guy. Would never dream of yelling at you. You're golden, Sensei. Golden. Golden, Sensei. Golden. Oh, my God. I love him. Is Atticus here? Who wants a new nickname? Chef's hat. Man, am I wearing one? I forgot the name of this car already. Apologies. It's been a while. Oh, yeah, the Jack Turtles. Oh, boy. They lift. Okay, so Grace has quickly acclimated to the the weirdness of this one. Ooh, Simon. I, it's so interesting. Just keep up in those numbers. Oh, the Corgis. Nope, we gotta get out. Ooh, sound effect. Uh oh. So I wonder if one one has any confrontation with them yet, with uh, the apex. I, I would think that one one would not be pleased with all of this. Sorry, Madam Secretary, gonna be late again. First my breakfast is ruined, now the whole world is flying away. Yeah, it's been a bad, 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 bad. bad. <laughs> He's, the, he's one of my favorite side characters on this show. Hey. Hey. <laughs> she's, she has charm, though. I'll give her that. She has charisma and charm. Don't worry, I got you. She has all the qualities of a leader, for sure. You could tell. Oh, boy. Get out of the way! Oh, no, it's... Oh, that's bad. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this tune. I, for I forgot how much I miss Infinity Train's music. It's been weeks since I recorded anything for the show. Oh. Wow. Can you imagine if we lost Simon right there already? Also, a harpoon pack. Yours is broken? That's three things. What happened? Cars aren't supposed to move if people are inside. Well... Something's well, you know changed. Who can do that? That horrible little robot. I think the false conductor just made his first move. Has it's to... really interesting oh, that news. they see one one as the false conductor. We're here, forty-seven cars Ooh. away. Oh, come hey, on! It's not all bad. It'll be like old times, just me and you. <sighs> wow, so yeah. I was just gonna get them two. Old I was times. wondering if we we're gonna kind of stay close to the apex. Oh. God, the music just sets such a tone. I love it. Wow. Okay, interesting first episode. This is different. This is different from seasons one and two with Tulip and with uh, with Lake. You know, Tulip obviously clearly wants to get off that train, right? Lake, one, 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 one would love to get off the train, but they also it was a, it was a story about finding oneself and finding out who you are and finding an identity and cr creating your own path. I loved like I loved Lake's story. It was wonderful. This season with Grace though and with Simon, and I've seen season 2 Jesse as well wanting to get off the train, but we have two characters who don't want to get off, who want to stay, who are doing everything in their power to raising their number more and more and more and more to prevent them from ever wanting to get off the train. So I'm very curious of two things. One, I'm very, I'm, ve I'm, I'm very much looking forward to finding out their past and 
what was going on in their lives to not wanting them to go back to it because they, they, I, they, they are look, both of them are looking at the train as like a new, as a fresh start. It seems like, like, Hey, we can make, we can make what our, we can make our life, what we want it to be here. There's endless possibilities, literally. And we don't want to go get it, go back to what we were dealing with. And two, um, I wonder how they found each other. That's the other question I'm wondering. So very interesting. Uh, obviously, these are our two new protagonists, and they are very unlikable so far. Um, I, I, I mean, I shouldn't say very unlikable. There are def they definitely have very unlikable qualities, but obviously, like Grace, Grace is incredibly charming and charismatic, and is very free spirited. And I, 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 I'm latching on to her character with that, but I just don't like the things she has been doing, <laughs> raiding these different cars, uh, treating the lives of the inhabitants of the cars like they're nothing like like they're just toys like she said they're just toys tools like they they don't they essentially treat them like they don't have feelings and emotions and that that's oh and the imagery of that raid was very jarring to me i, I was yeah they're not like people but the the, the you know the performance of the voice acting and just the imagery was quite jarring to me so that was really interesting so i'm very curious that this season's gonna be interesting this season could be very interesting i'm very excited to see where this is going to go so yeah let's get right to it let's watch the jungle car i'm also quite interested to see with all this discussion of one one and with them seeming like they're headed towards a conflict with one one who they believe to be the false conductor i'm wondering if we see amelia in this season who they see as the real conductor so i wonder if we get okay? to be introduced this to her going to be a normal procedure i don't think we've even been this far out on the train before so what wow we're on charter territory Besides for you two pessimism we might have to ration <laughs> not much let's see we have two toothbrushes bars, rope three toothbrushes. three one for the teeth two for the snakes i don't even get one all i know is i packed three <laughs> Baggy of Gorp, Arctic Cowboy brand deodorant What's for Gorp? summer sports perspiration. Hmm? Hello. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, you're scaring it. Seem minimal. You're the scaring Simon it. Presence remains aloof and dormant. Please let it go. Dude, we Oh, are I hope they learn a also, lesson with this. Simon, remember? Yeah. Yeah. I hope they are confronted. Yeah, with their I've seen you lead an actions army of against kids, but I've also seen you play sock ball. You the folks of the trade. General guy when we get back. Maybe some Maybe repercussions for that. Me. That's bothering me if you haven't noticed. Simon with a bit of the blush. Again, like I said before, this kind of music like synthwave, like obviously synthwave is very rooted in like being inspired by the 80s. And oh, it's just, just nostalgia <laughs> it gives me for so many things. This is a this this type of song is something I would like listen to in the summer. You know what I mean? Late afternoon summers, you know. See, Ugh. Isn't this a that's nice that's that's pace? what it reminds me of. Yeah. What are we running into here? Oh, where's the danger? Oh, hello, hello, little ones. They're scared. Something bad. Oh boy, good save. Looks like we got no problems. Oh, see, this, what I love about a show like this, it's a shame it didn't get more seasons past four. It's, there's so much endless possibilities with stories and characters. You know what I mean? This show could have gone for like 12 seasons yeah, and be fine. Of other trees. It's a shame. It just took down a very big tree. Oh, I can't wait to get a look at this thing. Oh, that's really nice. I love that. As the tree's going down, the ah, uh, the perspective. That's cool. We can't ignore it. I know you told me to loosen up. Great animation. We have apex procedures for something like this. When encountering a null that cannot be overwhelmed with force nor avoided in its entirety, the null in question must be incapacitated. Wow. Hmm. Now who could have written that one? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like that that drum, that deep drumming, right? Mm -hmm. Those poor things. That gave me like a Terminator feel. The dun, 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 dun. This is where you want to redeem your loss at Chubby Bunny. 
Oh, we got a bite. I mean, I, again, I hate that they're using these little lizards as tools, as traps. Let us know it's here. Now we can team up and they're very cool though. Together. They're adorable. Huh? Oh, Simon? that thing was big and hairy. Simon, where are you? That was so, oh, that was Simon. swift. Simon! Oh boy, we got what King Kong down here? Look like a look like a an ape hand. Oh, oh, that sounds like something out of a horror movie. It looks like an ape or a gorilla. Tuba. The name. Oh, it's tickling. They're tickling them. Oh, so it does look like a gorilla. Oh, <laughs> hello. I thought you said there weren't any passengers for at least 47 cars. I don't know. That's what the number tracker said. This child has made a gorilla friend. We're with the Apex. Hello. They, I don't think this kid cares. You might have heard of us. You've seen this wave symbol? We want to make sure you're getting everything you're entitled to from the train. Hmm. hmm. As a passenger, the true conductor This kid seems pretty us... happy where they are. <laughs> you see Grace is loving it. Tuba don't care. Oh my god, Tuba's about to kill Simon. You told me we don't hit. Wow. <laughs> my name's Grace. Simon is my friend. What's your friend's name? This is Tuba. That's a great name. He's kind of shy. Yeah. Mm. Hi, Tuba. Hello. <laughs> and what's your name? <laughs> Hazel. That's a Hazel. Very that is a pretty name. Hazel. I always like that name. I'm looking for passengers to help. Do you mind if Tuba I talk was to not Hazel having alone? it? Mm, I should stay. Oh, Tuba, who's voicing Tuba? I'll be okay. I will be. I wonder if Grace worked with kids, or maybe had siblings. Nice. Hey, pink pineapples. Those Hazel. exist, by the way. Do you want to see something cool? <gasps> this is my number. Oh, Hazel's do you digging have a it. Number? I do. Three thirty-seven. Yours glows. Take a look at this. I wonder why That's Hazel's here. Why she didn't scan. The fake conductor was trying to hide her from us, turning off her number. Interesting. We need to get her to the apex. Right Ooh, that is interesting. What's I wonder if one one is doing conductor? that or not. That's what I was trying to tell you about before. Yours should be glowing, like mine. See? How could we fit? Hazel's hair. Oh, I know. <laughs> There's so much. <laughs> you could come back with us. That way, we can teach you all about numbers. Plus, you get to meet a bunch of other cool kids. Like I said, Grace seems Whoa. to be very good with children. Wait, am I a kid? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll tell Tuba to pack up. Tuba can't come with. Why? What? You can't. What he's trying to say is that numbers are for because passengers. Because he's a null. This kind of stuff doesn't affect her. Don't be daft. I'm not leaving <laughs> Don't be back. daft. I like it. Do you think we can just grab Hazel and run past that thing? <laughs> Tubo's watching. Once we wean Hazel off it, we'll ditch the null before we get back home. Oh, I don't know if that's going to go well. Of course we want both of you to come with. Oh, I have a fun question to ask you all. I'll ask it after the episode. But now I fixed it. We're all going to the Apex together. Tuba, Tuba, I'm going to see more kids. Pack up your stuff. Are you sure this is what you want? The moment I've dreamed of my whole life. Oh, I wonder how long she's been here. And, okay. oh, that one line says so much, I feel like. <laughs> it's breaking a rock. Be the couch. That is a rock. Oh, we need to take the TV for sure. <laughs> that is also, also a rock. rock. <laughs> okay, wow. All right, so we're adding another. Another two. Uh, so, what Hazel said right there is potentially very telling about... This is something she's been waiting for for her entire life, which is implying outside of the train, maybe she has been, had, maybe she doesn't have anybody. Maybe she's feeling quite alone. Maybe she has trouble making friends. 
maybe she has a rough home life. I don't know. But that was a very telling line. So obviously Hazel is very susceptible to what Grace is offering her in terms of getting to be with other kids. Uh, like I said, Grace, she's very cunning. Uh, I'll give her that. And the episode, uh, I'm, I'm very curious to see where this is going now. Now we have Simon and Grace bringing on another, trying to bring on another kid to the apex. Uh, how are they going to deal with Tuba? I'm, just, I'm, try, I'm trying to pinpoint the exact narrative to this season. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of different threads, but like, I'm, I'm guessing the story here is going to be really about Grace and maybe Simon as well, but Grace is our main character for sure. Uh, it's going to be about Grace probably trying, maybe eventually coming face to face with what she is running away from. And it's hard to tell the way Grace is on the train is how, if she, this is how she was outside of the train. And I think both are going to go hand in hand. I think when we learn about Grace's past, it's going to make her behavior in the train make a lot more sense. And the fact that they, they're so adamant about taking, getting any human to join the apex, to bring them there. And they seem like they don't like taking no for an answer, this group, right? Uh, see, but it seems like it's mostly like kids, like young, like younger ones. And they don't seem like they'll take no for an answer. Like what happened with Jesse? Like they just, Grace and Simon weren't having it. Uh, so yeah, um, it's, oh, this is, this has such a different feel for me, uh, compared to the previous two seasons. So I'm very excited for to see where this goes. And also I had, oh yeah, well, I had a fun question to ask, uh, ask of all of you. I don't know how long Tuba is going to be with us. But if we had to compare, if if we had to pick our favorites so far, and obviously I have to get no tuba more, but in terms of like kind of like the animals we have been 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 hanging out with on the show, like season one was Atticus, season two was Alan Dracula. Now we have tuba. Who who are we liking the most here? Like who who's your favorite? I'm curious to see what what you're all gonna say there. Obviously, if it's tuba, don't uh. Don't present spoilers, but you could just say it's Tuba. Uh, I would, but I'm curious to see what your answers are to that. Uh, but yeah, folks, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much, as always, for hanging out and watching some Infinity Train with me. If you enjoyed your time here, please consider coming back and watching uh, more of the show along with me. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to give the video a like. That's also much appreciated. Honestly, it really helps a lot. I know YouTubers say it a lot, but it's really, it's true. Likes are like a big deal <laughs> on, on YouTube. And, um, Oh, and uh, if you want to catch any of the full-length reactions to Infinity Train, no edits, no cuts, uh, offered in their full-length form, and you also get early access uh, with the full-length reactions, they pop up on my Patreon far sooner than they do on YouTube. So if you want to get a jump on those early, you can catch those on my Patreon, which you can find a link to that in the description below or in the pinned comment at patreon.com slash MikeyVenture. I'll see you for episode four and no, not four. What episodes are we on? I'll see you for episode three and four. I already don't know what episode I'm on. Jesus Christ. Have a good one. Bye.